So we just got our lines out there beyond the boat. Uh, Brandon is running his as a stinger a little bit further behind Ryan and I. Typically what you like to do is have your plugs even so that you push the fish back. Well, in this cold of water, it's really not gonna matter. So we're kind of staggering them throughout. Brandon has a darker color plug, a little bit subtler presentation going back there. Uh, we're just about ready to get the rods and the rod holders and start back trolling through here. And what I wanna do is make sure that my drag is set properly. So what we got for our setup right now, this is a perfect steelhead plug rod, really nice light in the tip. Gets that plug action. What you don't want is a stiffer rod for running a plug. If you do, it actually kills the action of the lure. So that's what we're running for our rod setup. For our reels, we're using a line counter reel, which is really important, so that way we know our spacing for each line behind the boat. For our line, we're using Maxima Braid 8. This is a great super line that's on the market right now, and this is 40 pound, which sounds like it's a bit overkill, but there are a lot of big steelhead out here, so having this power line is gonna be important if we do end up hooking up into a bigger fish. But what's nice about this line is that it's really thin diameter, so it's not going to be grabbing a lot of water and affecting the action of our lure. But because we're using braided line with a softer rod, we need to make sure we get our drag set properly. If it's too tight, the rod is just going to buckle down and the hooks are gonna pull right out of the fish's mouth. If it's too loose, we're not gonna get the hooks in the fish's mouth. So what we need to understand is how our system works. With a softer rod and braided line, there's gonna be give in the rod. Hey, Bill, Bill, get this. Right there. There you go, go ahead, Ryan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 